Hey guys, just wanted to post up this quick video of making a head spacer for my Grizzly G0704. I wasn't originally planning on filming this uh, as I'm still playing around with the setup, but after I did the outside profile of the stock, I decided to start recording. So I apologize I don't have any of the facing operations or bringing the stock to size, but we'll work on some of those videos shortly. I do have a cold, so I apologize. Uh, for that, but uh, starting to feel better today, so I'm going uh, and getting this video posted for you guys right now. So right now what you're looking at is a, a Tormach TTS shear hog. It's a three-quarter inch, uh, plunging in and then cutting at uh, 55 inches per minute, 7,000 RPMs on the new spindle. And it is just shredding the aluminum. It's uh, 0.2 depth of cut, 0.18 width of cut. I could bring the width of cut a little wider, but I'm still kind of playing around with feeds and speeds, seeing what this mill likes. The uh, only thing that I will say is when I was profiling the outside of this part, uh, I was using a 2 inch long, uh, half inch end mill, and there was quite a bit of chatter and flex uh, in the, the column. For this mill so I do have a column brace that I've designed and have the materials almost all on hand so it'll be a hollow uh, rectangular aluminum extrusion with aluminum standoffs that are drilled and installed into it it'll bolt to the back of the column and then it will be filled with epoxy granite so I think between adding the extrusion filling it with the epoxy granite the added weight and rigidity should uh, take out some of the chatter and some of the flex of the Grizzly G0704 column. I think it's going to allow me to run at these faster speeds that I uh, am setting the mill up for. Being able to run 7700 RPMs in the spindle and 150 inch per minute rapid speeds, uh, that's the major weakness I see right now is the column itself. So. I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video. It skips around. I missed the drilling operation. Um, I was using just a cheap drill bit for one of the holes, and it was horrible. I had to slow things way down. Uh, I did have some better uh, drill bits that I was using that uh, had proper leaf for clearing out the chips. Uh, it worked out really well. Uh, I missed videoing all of that because I was frustrated at the time, but. We'll get some videos of drilling. When you use a good quality drill bit and a proper uh, pack cycle, no issues uh, with low speed drilling on this motor so far. I haven't tried anything larger than a quarter inch drill bit, but quarter inch drill bit was more than fine. So I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you have any questions, post up in the comment section and we will uh, respond to any questions as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.
Hey guys, so here I am switching to a uh, chamfer end mill. Uh, I had messed up and uh, I had uh, put the end mill a little bit higher up into the collet and I forgot to change the offset in Mach 3. So it didn't chamfer deep enough. I ended up redoing it after resetting it, but I didn't record that. But I just wanted to go over this head spacer really quick. This is a design by Haas. Uh, if you guys don't know who Haas is, you probably haven't looked on YouTube for uh, G0704 conversions. He's really the uh, one of the pioneers of converting these machines. So I did purchase his plans years back. 
I did modify this spacer I put in a pocket on the front and back just to kind of lighten it up a little bit but other than that it is pretty much unchanged so just wanted to get that out of the way so uh, coming up at the end of the video just a quick shot of the front and the back side of the spacer so the idea with the spacer is you drill and tap the head with six 10 30 second bolts bolt the spacer to the head and then there's the circular cutout in the middle of the three uh, bolts or studs that hold the head to the the uh, plate on the column so overall turned out awesome uh, checked specs I was off on the overall width by six thou which was actually my error uh, in setting up my probe which I'm using for offset I added off by three thou so it came off six thou per side but that's an insignificant dimension the critical dimensions everything matched up was perfect was within one thou which is more than fine for this application so we'll get a video soon of this thing installed on the mill thanks for watching